Mid-wheel drives and front-wheel drives. These make up about 90% of the power wheelchairs that we do. I'm gonna go into the differences between this thing and that thing. Now, mid-wheel drives have a tire in the middle of the chair and have two tires at the front and two tires at the back. Front-wheel drives have a tire at the front and then two bigger tires at the back. Mid-wheel drives make up the vast majority of the power wheelchairs manufactured in this kind of space. But let's not forget the joys of a front-wheel drive. I like a front wheel drive for clients that are really looking for a smooth ride. Reason being is because when they sit on the chair, rather than this drive tire being in the middle and sort of taking the impact and making vibrations on someone's spine, it sits lower on their legs. I like it too when you sit on a bus. And when you sit on a bus and you sit sort of not all the way at the back, but a little bit at the back when you're on top of the tire, every time you go over a speed hump, you feel it a lot more. Whereas in a front wheel drive, that tire is further away from your spine. So that makes it a bit more comfortable. It's also got four tires instead of six. So every time I run over something, I go over it once with the front tires and twice with the back tires. The back tires are also a little bit larger because you can, right? And that's because on a mid-wheel drive, these casters have to be quite small, otherwise the foot plates are gonna hit them. So when they're all the way here at the back, you can get them quite big. And big tires mean smoother ride. It's also got no casters at the front, so there's no tiny wheels over here, which means we can get quite a wide foot plate for people that need to sit in a little bit more abduction. And for some environments, a front wheel drive can maneuver into places where mid wheel drive can't. Let me show you an example. In order to make this turn, I need to drive the tire to go past the door access. In doing so, my foot plates are now hitting the side of the door. In a front wheel drive, my drive tire passes the axis earlier and that would meet the turn earlier without my foot plates hitting the other side. So if this chair is so good, why don't the majority of people go into a front wheel drive? Well, because the turning circle is a bit bigger. So the turning circle goes from the middle point of this wheel all the way to the back hardware of this bit over here. Because it's a bit longer, it needs a bigger area to do a circle. And for some people, it can be hard to steer. Kind of like a forklift, they're really good for maneuverability, but if you tried to drive a forklift at 80 kilometers an hour, you wouldn't be able to do it. The thing would just start fishtailing everywhere. And that generally happens for front wheel drives, but as technology gets better and better, that's happening less and less. For someone who really wants vibration dampening and needs to get into a particular area with a particular turn, front wheel drive is the way to go but it can have a little bit of a bigger turning circle. So, trial them both and see how you go.